As Narok uh, County um, COVID-19 emergency response uh, team and uh, we have agreed to step up our enforcement on the Ministry of Health COVID-19 protocols. As we speak, we have teams from the National Police Service and the public health that are going around in Narok Town and Wasonyiro to ensure that all eateries, restaurants, and other public places adhere to the COVID-19 protocols. We have also stepped up our surveillance at our borders. We have also stepped up our surveillance or the enforcement of the curfew. Finally, I want to say that we are working very closely with the county government to ensure that we prevent the spread of COVID-19 in Narok County. I wish to appeal to residents of Narok County to adhere, follow the COVID-19 protocols that have been pronounced by the Ministry of Health. Na mwisho pia niseme kwa Kiswahili ya kwamba sasa shule zimefungwa, wazazi tafadhali wae waangalifu sana kwa watoto wao nyumbani wakati huu walikizo ni wakati ambapo wazazi wanataka kuangalia wazazi wao watoto wao na waweze kuhakikisha ya kwamba wametoa muongozo mwema kwa watoto wao asanteni sana additionally reports of fully occupied hospital beds and icu facilities across countries counties in kenya are factual and totally worrying it is for this reason that I am urging the people of Narok to be extremely cautious and to take all necessary measures to protect yourself and loved ones from the new coronavirus. It is also in cognizance of this emerging threat that I am pleased to update the people of Narok on the measures that my, my administration is taking to heighten our preparedness against this new variant of COVID-19. The third wave of COVID-19 is presently spreading in Narok County like it is in other parts of Kenya. Fortunately, the spread of the new COVID-19 virus in Narok is minimal and our health facilities have not been overwhelmed. However, information from other counties indicate that the third wave of infection is extremely rapid and persistent. If we do not take urgent and comprehensive measures now, our county stands the risk of overstretching our health facilities and losing lives. This is why I'm urging all residents of Narok to continue adhering to existing COVID-19 protocols of wearing face masks, keeping social distance, and washing hands using soap and water. The, cor the coronavirus has become smarter. We must all get smarter in dealing with it. Update on COVID-19 vaccination. In regards to my administration continued measures to combat COVID-19, I'm pleased to inform the people of Narok that on 15th March 2021, we received the initial 3,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccine from the national government. Subsequently, vaccination of health staff was launched at Narok County Revival on 9th March 2021. On 16th March, vaccination extended to teaching and security staff across the county. In the intervening period, we have rolled out the vaccination program to health facilities across all the sub-counties. The vaccination program is being implemented in accordance with the guidelines of National COVID-19 Vaccine Deployment Task Force including the prioritization of frontline personnel. So far, a total of 654 residents have been vaccinated in Arrow County, and this include 497 health staff, 889 security staff, and 68 others. The vaccination program is ongoing, and we anticipate to utilize our allocated doses of vaccine in due course. As a county, we will continue our efforts to acquire additional doses of vaccine for use by many residents of Narok as will be possible. It's important to note that the vaccination is done free of charge. Our health facility, our health emergency lines are fully functioning in case urgent medical attention is needed by anyone. 
Our 24-hour ambulance services are fully in place and ready for use. I would like to ask all residents of Narok to strictly adhere to the Ministry of Health protocols in fighting COVID-19. We have noted that in most public places such as markets and in public transport in most parts of the county, especially rural areas and semi-urban areas, most people are not even wearing masks or keeping social distance. I'm now putting all those people on notice. If you cannot take care of your lives, of your lives by wearing masks and keeping social distance, we will force you to do so by taking all necessary administrative and legal actions. We have agreed uh, uh, in, this, in the meeting we have just held to ensure full enforcement of all Ministry of Health protocols. Action will also be taken against all people who are not wearing masks below their chin. It does not serve any purpose for someone to have a mask and pull it below the chin. It is the mouth and nose that need to be covered, not the chin. All county officers shall not admit or allow anybody in who is not fully and properly wearing a mask. 